Okay guys, so we have another build. Uh, this time it's going to be a Shendron's Miksuku. And I really liked uh, the Mako of Shendron's, so I thought I should try the Miksuku as well. I had the, the standard one with the carbon tower. This time I'll try the one with the uh, 3D printed version and uh, as with the Mako this has a uh, really nice uh, print uh, printed in TPU so it's a bit flexible and it's really sturdy I've had no problems with uh, the Mako holding up uh, to crashes and such it's been really nice so that's the tower and the carbon is of course uh, best quality uh, really nice sturdy and um, what I recommend doing I've already filed down the edges and uh, also especially here for your strap and that will make your uh, if you file down the edges here it will make your strap last much longer I recommend doing that um, for the um, VTX, I'm using the uh, FX7999, 799T, 200 milliwatts. I've gone, gone ahead and uh, added some uh, liquid tape to it and removed the heat shrink. I like to do that uh, just to make sure it. Uh, we fly in the conditions where it might be a lot of water sometimes, and it's nice to have something that is watertight. Same thing for the flight controller. I'm using the uh, Foxier F303 this time. I like this one because it has all the uh, holes for the pinouts instead of the connectors. And also, I've gone ahead and uh, prepared this one for the Spectrum satellite. It has its own 3.3 uh, volt and signal and ground port right here on the edge. So I've gone ahead and soldered the uh, the receiver here, which is a Lemon RX receiver, to that port. Also added a uh, buzzer on the buzzer port. And also some pins for the uh, signal and the ground ESC wires as well. And on the bottom, I've added the 5 volt in right here. Also, gone ahead and uh, added some liquid tape on this board as well. So that's going to be good. Also, on this build as well, I'm going to be using the Red Rotor PDB OSD as well. Same thing with the liquid tape. Um, this one goes to the uh, VTX. ESC wires on this side. This goes to the camera. And this is the 5 volt out for the flight controller as well. Also with the frame you get all the screws of course. Uh, I'm going to use the Foxier HS11770 camera with this time with a 2.5 lens. I'm going to try that out. See how that works. And for the uh, antenna, I'm just going to use a uh, really cheap. I found these on Banggood. They are uh, really nice, good quality. And uh, has a uh, 90 degree bend, which is useful when uh, the uh, VTX sticks out on the side like this. Or the uh, antenna as well. Yeah, I'm trying to keep this build a light build, so I'm going to use the Little Bees and the Sony Sky 2204-2300 kV motors. And they are very nice motors, not the latest, but they have been working really nice for me, so I'm going to try them out and see how it works. So we're going to mount the motors, but first off I'm going to make sure I don't forget to th thread through the uh, battery strap. So 
Here's the batteries drag. Now we have the orientation of the frame. And let's mount the motors. As always, I like to use a little bit of Loctite. So I'll go ahead and mount the motors and uh, we'll see how that looks. So now the ESCs and motors are in place. I've added uh, some double sided type to the bottom just to give it some extra protection against shortening and just a little bit of cushion as well um, and I'll just tape it down later to hold it down as you can see there's a lot of wires and they're going to be cut and uh, cut to size later on when we get the PDB on as well so next uh, we'll mount the uh, PDB to the frame and this one goes to the back this is the yes back side so should go on like this uh, this time I'm just going to use some uh, fiber washers on the bottom here because there's just a little bit of space and it should be enough to insulate it also you have the, the uh, battery strap there as well insulating from the carbon so I'll go ahead and mount that and uh, we'll see how that looks Okay, <clears throat> so the PDB is on, uh, is installed. Uh, what I ended up with is the 10 millimeter screws, plastic screws, and a set of double washers, um, fiber washers, trying to keep the build as tight as possible. Double washers, PDB, and then the standoffs, 6 millimeter standoffs. Also, another tip I did is uh, I found out that uh, over time these uh, plastic screws and standoffs kind of tend to loosen a little bit somehow. So what I did is just add a tiny little bit of drop of CA. I don't know if you can see it over there. Just a tiny little drop of CA to kind of lock tight uh, the standoff and the screw in place. You know, just a little bit, uh, not too much to make it a permanent installation, but uh, just enough so if you need to remove it, you can easily break it off. So next will be to solder on the uh, ESC wires and then uh, attach the flight controller. So I'll go ahead and uh, cut the wires for the ESCs and the plus here and the negative on this side and I'm going to shorten these wires as well crimp on new connectors for the flight controller I'll do that later so first off I'll go ahead and solder all the uh, ESC wires to the PDB and we'll see how that looks so guys this is um, all the ESC wires soldered to the pads Trying to keep it as uh, neat as possible and as low as compact as possible. I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to hold the wires down. Should be okay and uh, at the same time able to fit the hood like that. So it's going to be a little bit of tight fit, but should be okay. And next is adding the flight control board and all the wires and ESC wires as well onto that. So I'm ready to attach the ESC wires and what I've done is uh, I have uh, cut the uh, signal wire and the grounding wire. I shorted it up and I've split it up into two and I crimped on these uh, small uh, small connectors with my crimping tool and uh, now I can attach the signal for motor number one and the ground this way I don't have to solder 
any more than necessary and this makes for a really nice and tight and a low profile build as well okay. then the ESC will be on the top here or the uh, not the ESC but the uh, the receiver so the radio will sit on top of all the connectors like this so it should be a nice nice clean and uh, short stack like that so I'll do that with the rest of the wires and we'll see how that looks <clears throat> so um, this is what it looks like when all the ESC wires are connected and uh, cut I've added the receiver on top of here and also some uh, just a piece of double sided tape just to keep it together on top here and it looks pretty successful so what I'm gonna do now is try to add some power and see if we can uh, see if the magic smoke stays away hopefully it does and I don't have to rebuild anything so Next we'll be uh, installing the uh, camera, the VTX inside the pod. And that should be uh, more or less uh, it really. In the pod here you have uh, some slots for the nuts that go in and also some screws that goes in from the bottom. So we're going to do that next. We're going to see if everything actually fits. Okay, so here we have everything installed. The camera and the VTX is uh, semi-installed. The camera is in the bottom. With the 2.1 or 2.5 lens, it's uh, a little bit recessed in the shape here so I might have to cut down a lip here a little bit uh, depends on what I can see in the uh, goggles if I can't see the edge on the goggles I'm just gonna leave it for protection so that should be it I'm just gonna connect the wires and uh, make sure everything fits and uh, we'll uh, see how that looks and uh, find out how much she weighs as well <clears throat> okay guys so here it is all completed I've added some uh, tape here just to keep it uh, simple in case I need to replace one it's a lot easier just to replace some tape than uh, some shrink wrap uh, I've added the antenna with the um, the zip tie here to prevent it from hitting the props the antenna guides and the props these are the new dys 5x4s so let's check out how much she weighs so ready to fly is 264 264 grams with a uh, draft graphene 1000 milliamp it adds about 388 ready to fly that's very nice with a 1300 milliamp 4s it's 420 so with the thousand it's 388 and with the 1300 it's uh, 420 grams and without anything it's 260 63 grams ready to fly that's quite good so it's going to be interesting to see that's it guys the Mexico pod build and uh, if the weather clears we should have a uh, 
video ops of the flight pretty soon. As always, thank you and subscribe. Woo! Woo! Woo!